Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, where today I am going to build a brand new space station. On my screen is the first part of the design of the space station. It's just a small part of the end result, but I thought I would give you a taste of what this video is going to be about. I'm going to show the build as a time lapse sped up by times 2. Let's waste no further time and let's show you the time lapse. I'm now right about at the halfway point of the build of the space station and I was going to do a little bit of explanation about these two parts. They look quite weird but this was just to make the space station look even cooler and to make it look a bit less empty. And they don't really have a meaning but let's just say they're, I don't know, like tanks for storing oxygen or whatever. That's what I'm going to roll with. And let's get on with the time lapse. And here it is. But don't click away this video just yet, because this isn't where this build ends. As you can see, we've got a couple empty docking ports. These, however, are going to stay empty, except one of them, because I'm going to launch a capsule to the station with a crew inside of it. And the other docking ports can be used to have the supply rockets dock. And I have to do something else. Because I built this space station in a very low orbit to make the build a bit easier. As you can see, the orbit is around 50 kilometers. And that's not high enough for a space station. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to move this space station to an orbit at around 1500 meters. Which is higher than my normal space station, but I thought I'd mix it up. But as you can see, there's no good way to move this space station. So what I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to dock two moving uh, parts of the station with a lot of engines on the two ends of the space station to be able to move it. So that's what I'm going to do next and I'm going to show you the docking first of all. And here they are. Now as you can see they look quite small but actually these rockets are massive. This isn't one engine this is 10 engines clipped into each other and these fuel tanks have 10 times the normal capacity of fuel. As you can see it's now at 967 
percent of fuel and the same is true for the other one and i accidentally clicked my rcs off but now i'm going to move the entire space station but first i gotta switch on all of the engines which you can see right here now one simple click on the play button and all these engines will be switched on actually two clicks of the button and now i'm going to move the space station very carefully to not overshoot anything and as i said before i'm going to go to 1500 meters now as you can see even though i've got 20 engines trying to move the station it's going very slowly and this of course is because the station is massive and it takes a lot of power to move and that is why i couldn't just use one engine rockets to move the station slowly however it's moving up my apple websis and i'm getting close to 1500 so i'm going to slow it down a bit there we go let's not overshoot it and let's also not hit any of my satellites already in orbit and almost at my apoapsis now i'm going to flip this entire station around which looks very cool especially because it's so big and now i'm going to do another burn because we need to get our periapsis to 1500 as well which is once again going very slowly but we'll have to be patient because we can't speed it up well we actually can but i don't want to because i'm a bit scared that i will overshoot stuff and uh, it's also very hard to control this rocket at the moment and there we go we're getting very close now i'm going to get my other one to exactly 1500 and i accidentally left my engine on so now i'm going to have to turn around once again and after the entire perfect orbit that i'm trying to do here I will be launching the crew to the station and then this build is finally going to be finished. And hopefully that won't take all too long. Let's be careful here. This is fine. And now I'm going to do my last burn. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. But I at least want to get it right on the kilometer. So here we go for another little burn. and we're done and now i'm going to launch my crew to the station and then we'll be finished so i'll show you a bit of a time lapse once again to not waste more of your time as you can see this is my crew in their dragon inspired capsule and as you can see bottom right of my screen is my station so i'm now going to time warp a bit and as my st space station is moving towards me, I'm going to undock my, uh, my capsule, which is going towards the station, like so. And then I'm going to clear the debris. And it says no control, but I do have control. And now, as you can see, I don't have a docking port, but I'm now going to do what the actual Dragon uh, capsule from SpaceX does as well, or at least write about what it does. There they go. And now you can see my beautiful docking port. I am going to clear the breeze just to make sure and now I'm going to control the rest of this docking with the RCS. Now the space station is coming towards me perfectly which is beautiful so I'm going to have to decelerate a bit compared to the station and now as you can see I've actually left the moving things uh, for my station on the station and I'm going to remove them once I've docked this one. I decided not to remove them just yet, just in case I wanted to make a bit of a correction still. But I think it's going to be fine. And now let's not hit the solar panel. This is a lot less, less safe than what the actual SpaceX capsule would do. But this is a game, so it's allowed. And we're getting close to docking now. And there isn't much to say. But I'm just going to make this very smooth docking maneuver as we're getting very close now and I'm going to decelerate horizontally and we're perfectly moving towards the other craft which is my space station the controls of this RCS are a bit sensitive because I put quite a lot of RCS on this thing um, but it's gonna have to do because I can't change anything now and there we go and it has docked and now my space station is actually finished except 
I'm going to remove these two like so and then let's clear debris immediately because otherwise they dock again which I think it already did or didn't it oh of course now this one uh, I'm gonna have to switch to this one or it's actually switched to it already because this one still has an engine on it actually it has multiple engines and I'm gonna have to be very careful here to not hit my solar panels so I'm actually going to deorbit this one which is actually better than just removing the thingies the clear the breeze option I'm going to have to decelerate so I'm going to move to the other side of this craft with my RCS which I accidentally shut off so I'm going to go like this then I'm going to move it with the flamey end towards the arrow and I'm going to decelerate very quickly as you can see and it's going to burn up in the atmosphere let's now switch to my space station and let's decouple the other one actually is it orbit still fine yes it's still very close to perfect so I'm going to deduct this one and then move it away from my station very safely once again like so turning it around and deorbiting it together with the other one like so and now we can switch back to my beautiful and now fully complete space station it's very enjoyable for me looking at this because this was a lot of work for me to make it actually took a couple hours in reality probably about four to five hours of playtime and I actually spread that playtime over about a month. Which is why I would really appreciate it if you guys give this video a like. And maybe subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. And then I very much hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this video. And then I hope to see you all in the next one. So thanks for watching and bye bye.